Hello, I am Lycaos, and uh, in this video I'm going to cover a few things. The main focus of this video is going to talk about cabling and piping with cargo boxes. Before I do that, let me do a quick overview on these other items that you're going to need to know to be successful in Starbase. First, Easy Build Mode. This is a new mode put in by the developers with the release of Early Alpha, or Early Access. So. In order to go to easy build mode, you come to a building, which is clearly marked at the middle of the station. Fly your ship in. Once you're in here, you'll automatically be put in. If you're not, you can hit the period key on your keyboard. What this does, this allows you to use modules on your ship. Modules are a new system where you can have multiple pieces of blocks connected together and you can move them around. So in order to use modules, you craft them at a crafting station you go out and mine materials, you come back with that ore, and then you can craft them. From here you'll select different ones to craft. You can unlock them in the tech tree. Each time you craft something in the tech tree, you generate research, use that research to unlock new things. From there, you craft it, it gets put into your station inventory, which is on the right side here. You take this and you drag and drop it onto your cargo, or onto your character inventory bar, your toolbar, and then from here, you select it, and you can use the scroll wheel to rotate it around, or the X, Y, and Z to maneuver it in those axi, axi. Now, one thing you need to know about easy build mode and modules, the new system comes with ducks. Ducks are these little blue things I can show you here. Ducks are little blue pieces of metal. They're parts that are built into the module frame. So an armor piece has them on one side. They run the entire length of the beam on top. The way they work is as long as they are touching another duck, they're going to transfer both power, which is the blue data cable, and materials, which can be propellant or ore, which is a yellow pipe. This is important because when you're putting a module on your ship, see that the ducks are only on the top piece of the frame. So when you connect them, you want to make sure that all the ducks are going to connect with the adjacent ducks. Now I currently have an issue with my easy build mode. I cannot snap anything to my ships at the moment. This will hopefully be fixed. And because I can't snap anything, I have to build everything by hand, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, we'll deactivate easy build mode. Let's get started. In order to be able to modularly upgrade your ship, in order to be able to build items onto your ship by hand and not use the easy build module system, we're gonna need a couple things. One, we're gonna need a cable tool. Let's see here. My cable tool looks like this. I bought it from the auction house, which you can access anywhere on the station. In order to buy it from the auction house, you come here to equipment, you go to reloadable tools, you'll see the cable tool, you select it and you can buy it for 14,000. It goes up a little and down a little bit. You also need a piping tool, or a pipe tool as it's called. Buy that as well. And you'll need to buy the ammo from the ammo section. You get a pipe tool magazine and a cable tool magazine. They look like this. Here is my cable tool. I have a couple. And then here is my pipe tool. And then the magazines are loaded into the weapons. So. Let's see, we'll get my cable tool, and you'll see I have 300 rounds in my magazine. When selected, you might want to unload and reload the magazine when you first get the tool. And then from here, you can place down by left-clicking blue cables. And then you can delete them by right-clicking. The second tool, the pipe tool, the same process, just place down pipes. So, let's say we want to connect one box to our ship. An easy build isn't working, or you just want to do it by hand. You come to your crafting station. Once you've unlocked these in the tech tree, which first you start out by making basic crafting benches, you'll unlock these different pieces, and then you'll unlock cargo boxes. Once you've unlocked cargo boxes, you can come to the crafting, you can come down and select and build one module or cargo crate. This is just one, not a chain of them. 
And the difference is I can't place four of them at a time because this is a module. This is technically just one piece. Once it's done crafting, it'll get put in my inventory. It's now in my inventory and it's here. Let's say I want to build it like this. So I put it on my hotbar. I empty out all this other stuff from my inventory. <laughs> and I drag and drop it somewhere in here. Which I don't think I have enough space right now. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So it's here. Now that I have it, I'm going to take it over to my ship. I'm going to place it on my ship by left clicking. And then if I wanted to move it around once I have it, I hold D and I can move it around. I've got snap off. Where I turn snap on. You want snap on, just to be able to connect it to the frame. Once you have it where you want it, pull out your bolt tool, which comes with its own magazine as well. You hold left click. This will bolt it down. You can bolt it manually by left clicking just wherever you want, but it's easy just to hold it down. Once it's bolted down, we're gonna cable it up. So as I said before, these ducts, are connected on the top part of the plating. They're on top of every beam in the starter ship. The starter ship has been built to use these ducts as their main form of cabling. It's redundant. Each one has two main lines that run across. Honestly, I like it over the traditional data cabling. It's easier to use, easier to connect things. In order to connect things, you either wire them manually. So let's say I take my data tool and I make a cable here and I connect it to the duck. Now that it's touching the duck, it has power. It has data. But cargo containers also need a pipe for transferring materials. So now that it's piped up, you'll see that my inventory, these are my two ore slots. If I connect to the resource bridge, I see I have all these other cables as well. I'm gonna disconnect these just so I can demonstrate. I have one cargo box. So I'm gonna disconnect this cargo box. I have none. I connect it back. I have one. So that's how you can physically wire it to the frame. Another option, you can go through these sockets. What you do is you find a hard point that has a matching socket and you just need them to touch physically. I currently don't have that unlocked. So I'm just going to wire things by hand for now until the easy build mode is better. When it is fixed, what you can do, like they've done here, they have a maneuver thruster. If I unbolt the maneuver thruster, lift it up, it's not wired to anything, it's just touching this connector, this hard point. You'll be able to do that with pretty much everything. You won't have to wire it, you just need to have the connecting parts touching, and it will transfer information and in the case of this thruster, it transfers both data and it transfers propulsion or propellant. And then when I want it back, I just put it in place, bolt it back down. And then if I check my data, you'll see that flow is one. It is good to go. Now let's talk more about cargo crates. So I showed that you can connect the cargo crate using both the propulsion or the pipe tool and the data tool. I've showed how to do that. You just need the two cables and you need uh, the adjacent pipes. We're going to remove this one. And I'm going to put it in my inventory using P. It's back in station storage. So let's say I want multiple crates. So what I do, cargo crates are modular. As long as they are touching each other, these sockets right here are touching another socket on a crate, they will share data and they will share the ability to transfer ore anywhere in the ship. And because I'm connected to the, to the resource bridge, which is touching, it's touching the ducts that flow throughout the ship. And then these, let's say I want to connect all these crates, but I don't want to wire them all up. So I'm just going to wire one using my pipe tool here. I'm going to delete this and just redo the pipe. It's a little hard to get to these. So I'm going to repipe this. Now that I've done that, let me reconnect the data as well. Connect my data. 
data, you'll see that I have six cargo crates. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I only have one of them physically connected. As long as they're touching, they will transfer. Let's do the same thing for here. Let's hook that up. Let's hook the pipe back up. I have six more. So that's how you work with cargo containers. I hope this video helped you. From here, as you want to expand, you can just physically connect more. If you get modules to work, you'll be able to set different types. I physically have a lot of these four crates that are on the side. I just have to touch the frames together and they'll work. If you want to do some fancy stuff like this, you'll see when I go to easy build mode and pull this one out. This one looks like it is not doesn't have plates. It just has frames and I don't think it has any ducts in it either. So what you'd have to do in order to connect this you would just want to touch the crate to another crate like so. The socket touching the socket. Or you can connect it to the frame and just hardwire it in. Okay. That's all I have for you. I hope this helped out. If you need any more help, I'm going to make some more videos as I go through this process. And I will update everyone. Hopefully this helped you. Have a good day.